In my last video, I solved this recurrence. That is, we found a closed form solution that represented the value you would get for S of N. Now, I was able to do that using what's called the substitution method or the uh, expand, guess, and verify method. But there are recurrences that are really too difficult to do that way. And so an alternate method that people sometimes use is called the recursion tree method. So let's solve this problem again uh, doing that. So if I have S of N, we say it's equal to two times this plus three. So it's really two of these, right? Because I could rewrite this side as S of N divided by two plus S of N divided by two plus three. So it means I can replace this by the constant three. We'll put the three here and s of n divided by 2 and s of n divided by 2. s of n is equal to 3 plus 2 s of n divided by 2's. Well these can be replaced, right? So each of these is really a 3 plus an s of n divided by 4. with that right there and we could continue this would be three each of these is replaced by an s of n divided by eight and we'll do dot 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 since it's getting messy already okay and eventually we work our way down to s of one but what we're going to do is create a table and accumulate the values per row so our tables now have this form We'll have a level. We'll have which version of T of N or T of what, or excuse me, S of whatever we're currently using. And then the row summation. And this table is used to try to identify our pattern. So on this row, this was level zero. And let me put some lines, try to keep these lined up. Level zero, this was S of N. And what's the value here? Well, it's just a single three. And this is level one. This was the N divided by two value of S of something. And now we have two threes. This is level two. This was N divided by four. And now there's four threes, right? Because each of these was replaced by that. So I can look at these and see this is n divided by two to the zero power. This is n divided by two to the first power. This is n divided by two squared. This would be level three. n divided by eight is equal n divided by two cubed. These would be eight threes, right? When I replace these, and so this is equal to two to the zero power times three, two to the first power times three, two squared times three, two cubed times three. And so the general form seems to be that for level K, we have N divided by two to the kth power, okay, for this. And this will be, three times two to the kth power, All right? And eventually this works its way down to the S1 terms, All right? So this level, and I'm gonna explain this in a moment, but this level is what? This is the log base two of N level. What value of S were we dealing with? Well, S of one, that's just this right here. And this becomes, what did we have here? Well, this was three because of this, right? We're replacing each of these with threes. So each of these has a value of three that it contributes to that level individually, right? Three times two to the kth power. Well, on this level, these are each worth five, right? S of one, we know is our base amount is five. So it's be five times two to the kth power 
But here K is log of N. And as we saw in my last video, since this is base two, this right here, the two to the log base two of N just simplifies to N. So this is really five times N. And so now what we want to do is we want to produce the total sum. We have all these individual rows, so it'll be a three plus two threes plus four threes plus dot 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 down and eventually this. And so this becomes what we have on this row, which is five in plus three times what? Well, each of these has a three. And so we'll have, you know, the one here, plus two, plus two squared, plus dot, 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 plus two to some power. So what's the power? Well, it's gonna be whatever K is, but if our last row was log of N, that means this right here, the, the row right above it has to be the log of N minus one value. Log of N will be an integer. So for example, this might be eight. Well, then the previous value would have to be the seventh row. Okay, so we subtract one from that. So this would be log N minus one. And then this becomes five N plus three times if you watched my previous video, you know this is a geometric series. This is one of the special cases. Two to the log of n minus one is what this reduces to. So this right here also reduces to n. So this is five n plus three n for this minus three, which is eight n minus one. And that was a closed form solution we found before for this. And we verified it using induction. So how do I know this is the log? I told you I would tell you how I magically knew that this was the log of n level. And we could use that to figure out how many s of 1s there were. Well, let's imagine we were going to n was 8. Right? So we have s of 8 expands into an s of 4 and an s of 4. These expand to s of 2, s of 2, s of 2. S of two, and finally these are S of ones. And then two more here, two more here, two more here. So what was this level? Well, this is level zero, level one, level two, level three. Well, three is equal log of two cubed, since this is base two, which is our log of eight, which for our case was log of n. Remember, eight was in, so we have that right there. So that's how I was able to know that when we get down to this point, if we started with n, this would be the log in, if this is base two, level, right? Three is my level, and we can use that. So that's how that works. So just like I'd said in the previous video, this doesn't have to be two times this. If we'd had something like this, S of n is equal to three times, excuse me, three times S of n divided by two plus say four. Well, that means we'd have S of n gets replaced by four and then three S of n divided by twos. And each of these then would get replaced by three of these and so forth, All right? So, this leads to how many branches you have out of this value. And since this was two, we had two branches. So this two and this two don't have to be the same value is what I'm pointing out. So that's the recursion tree method.